Hello everyone. Hope you're having a good day or evening wherever you are, as usual. I want to talk to you a little bit about um, is it the words in what's been uttered that bothers us, offends us, or is it the source from where the words are being expressed? Is it the person who says what it says is why we are bothered and offended because it's coming from that person? Or is it the actual word itself regardless of who's saying it? For example, if someone who doesn't know how to play piano at all makes a comment about a pianist or someone who's playing a piano and that comment is negative why is it that piano player gets offended or affected by those words uttered, gets angered or insulted, even though it's apparent and known that the source of where these comments came from has no ability to play piano, has no understanding what it is involved, and has no taste in music, yet it still hurts. Or as if someone who is has no knowledge or understanding of hygiene is in the lives in the garbage or stinks like hell but yet makes a comment and becomes a role model for hygiene when he, he says something i mean it doesn't make sense but the words that is coming out for example if if that such a person makes a comment about your hygiene provided that you're clean you still get offended, but it's coming from someone who obviously has no understanding of what hygiene is, but you still get bothered and offended, insulted, angered. And is it because you're focusing on the power of the words? Or should you be focusing on the source of the words where they're coming from? So if you focus on where the words are coming from, you would not be bothered. Because you say, what the heck? <laughs> you, you don't know uh, how to kick a ball and you want to teach soccer. So you wouldn't be bothered if that person makes a comment about how you're kicking the ball, how you're playing soccer. But instead, you focus on the word and let the word's credibility as it has a meaning, uh, that meaning, you allow it to give credibility to the person who uttered it, while the person who uttered it has no understanding of that, what is being discussed. But why is that? Why is it that you allow the words itself create clear credibility for the person who's oblivious to what you're actually doing? If, if you're sure that the one who's making comment about your way of playing piano is not Mozart, why do you get bothered and you're sure that it's a person who doesn't know how to play piano, but you still treat that comment as if it's coming from Mozart? You really get bothered by it. So that goes a long way in, in helping us to deal with when we're in an argument with someone, be it an ex or be it... In, in daily life with some other people. You should not allow it to get under your skin by focusing on the source where the words are coming from, not on the words and allowing the words themselves be independent entity and its meanings, because words have credibility, words have been established that this is what the word means. And the fact that we are all agreed that this is what the word means, that doesn't justify that the word, what it means, is actually true in your case, because we got to look at where the source of these words being uttered is and coming from, where it's coming from. So if you focus on the source, you would have an easier way to deal with things. If you're walking around and somebody's just, you know, it's got no business in what you're doing and makes a comment about what you're doing or the quality of what you're doing, then if you focus on that source, you would not care. But if you only focus about the meaning of the words, you certainly think if the meaning of the words 
and if the comment is coming from some highly credible person in that field as if it's a scientist who <laughs> is making that <laughs> comment about the way you're approaching uh, explanation of a certain scientific project if you focus on what I'm saying it will help you to not to be bothered when someone or your ex makes a comment about you that is derogatory and it's not true but the word itself has a punch and you give that punch and meaning and allow it to be a credit to the source and then it affects you but if you just focus on where it's coming from then you realize that person has no business of saying by the fact that it's throwing that sentence to you the meaning of the sentence does not mean that it's true about you you got to look at who is saying it and what is their credibility and authority on the subject so i hope that that would be something to help you to go through the day a little bit easier and understand that you should focus on where and who is uttering that comment and that word and that opinion about what you're doing uh, whatever it may be whether it's playing a soccer or you know playing piano or uh, doing what you're doing uh, or your hygiene or your way of talking or your manners or behavior or whatever it is or your judgment about something and not focus on the meaning of the words because the meaning of the words has been established that has credibility that's what it means so just because that's what it means doesn't mean it's true and that doesn't give credibility to the person who uttered it just because it's there so uh, hope that will give you something to ponder and uh, enjoy and we'll talk soon again